Hi guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to our coffee times together. If you're new here, we like to do this with coffee, but also feel free to drink your tea, just your beverage of choice. And today I'm here to talk to you about my April TBR pile. So what I have been doing since 2020 started is basically I have been a little bit more picky and selective when it comes to my TBR pile. And this time for April, because Honestly, we don't know how long we're gonna be still in isolation and because since I've been recluded home I have been a little bit more picky <laughs> when it comes to what I want to read because probably Being so many hours at home is messing up a little bit uh, with my you know reading and so I decided to make a bigger tbr pile so that i can just choose the ones that i'm more feeling at that time but also trying to choose some that are gonna help me to read some of those books that i put on my 2020 tbr pile for the whole year so let's start it's copy time So there is a couple of books though that these ones I am 100% gonna read and then there is a different TBR pile that is options. <laughs> That's what we're calling it. So the first book that I'm 100% going to read and I am super excited because I'm finally, finally gonna get to read this book is Scythe. Ark of a Scythe, book one of the trilogy by Neil Schusterman and I'm going to be buddy reading this with my friend Olaf which makes it extra exciting and I'm pretty sure you've been hearing a lot about this trilogy since the third book came out not that long ago um, so we are living in a world in which you know um, there's no wars, there is no illness, there is nothing, no poverty and so people don't get sick, people don't die so there is this new job that it's created that it's basically being a scythe and those people are the ones that decide who dies something like that that's what i remember and because i really love this premise i've been super excited and super hyped about this trilogy so i hope that the hype is not gonna make me enjoy this book less because sometimes it happens when you're too overhyped um but this is the first one that i'm gonna be picking up in april and i'm super excited the next book that i'm gonna pick up is one that i've also heard only good things about and this was actually a present for christmas so i'm super excited to be finally picking it up and that is eleanor oliphant is completely fine i got this one from michelle over at books michelle make sure to check her out um and this premise sounds really interesting to me because our main character is somebody that doesn't like too much social contact um she has a, her life a little bit more like planned she has problems you know with her social skills and has no filter she always says what she's thinking and i think it's also one of the things that make people uncomfortable about me when they meet me in real life because i have no filter when i think about something I tend to say it because I always praise honesty and then I forget that some people don't want you to be honest <laughs> uh, but you know it's one of the things I have been told before you have no filter so so she is this type of person that I can kind of relate to until one day she meets this IT guy that seems to be like quite the opposite of her and probably brings her walls down we shall see but I'm really excited about it next I have a book that so many people have read and I haven't and I have fear of missing out with this book plus uh, I am expecting a lot of good body horror that is The Troop by Nick Cutter it is a group of boys that it's been taken um, to the wilderness in Canada to camp for three days and then there is an intruder that is hungry and probably shit gets down um, and I'm expecting a lot of gore um disgusting stuff messed up stuff so super excited because it's another book that everybody has been reading or has already read and that i haven't and i feel like it's time next we have a book that is gonna close a trilogy for me um and that is nightmares this is book three the final one the lost lullaby and this is a middle grade spooky series 
I really love this trilogy so much. Um, it's one of those spooky middle grace that I really, really enjoyed. We're following this boy that, you know, he's having a lot of trouble to adapt to his new life. His father has a new girlfriend and they move into the girlfriend's uh, house. Um, and he feels like there's something in this house that it's haunted and finds a door to a world of nightmares. The next one is actually a book that it's starting a trilogy, but it has a reason why. And that is Paranormalcy by Kirsten White. The reason being is I keep buying books by Kirsten White because everything she writes I tend to like the concept of it and I still have not read any of her books. So I think at this point I have around six or seven books by her. <laughs> But I have not read any of them, so I'm like, you know, you, you need to start. You need to start reading because what if you don't like her writing so? And so I picked this one up because I have the whole trilogy so I can binge it if I want now that I have a little bit more extra time. So there is a lot in this book plot. So basically we're following Evie, she's a teenager and she works for the International Paranormal Containment Agency. Her ex-boyfriend is a fairy, She, her love interest is a shapeshifter, and she's the only person who can see through supernatural glamours. A lot going on, but I'm willing to give it a try. Then we're gonna go with three books that are the next ones online, so the, third, the three ones are more interesting to me after these and we have the cheerleaders this is a ya mystery thriller and it is based on a town in which the cheerleaders have been dying to the point where there is no cheerleader left i'm just hoping it's gonna be bloody enough the next one is more happy than not by adam silvera i have read so far all of Adam Silvera's books except this one which is funny because this was his debut novel and all I know is it's about a teenager that is having trouble to find happiness um, I have heard good things about it and it's the last one that I have to read from Adam Silvera he is an author that I really really have been enjoying so this one is also one that I plan to read in April the next one is one that I uh, heard people also talking really good things about and it has one of these plots that I really love which is people locked in a place all being killed and that is Security by Gina Walsworth and this is a new hotel resort for people with a lot of monies that it's going to open and it's very uh, kept secure with a lot of cameras and stuff and so the staff that is going to work in this resort um, before they even open they are locked there and they start to get killed and I was like yes please and this is fairly short so I'm, I'm like so excited about these um if you know of any books that are like people get locked down here or some friends are locked here and they have to kill each other or things like that let me know down below because i love those type of plots and now i just have a couple of other books that in case that i'm in the mood for one of those or i need something extra i can turn to those the first one is friend zone by abby jimenez i bought this book because I saw Whitney from Whitney Novels reading it and really enjoying it last year um, and I really cherish her opinion on romance books and it is about this girl that is going through a lot she has no time for boys, she never connects with boys and she's also going through some surgery I think that it's going to make her not be able to have children something like that and then she meets this boy so that's how our story begins and I have not read one of these kind of rom-coms in a while so maybe i will pick this one up in april for a little bit of change and then i decided to pick three more books that are continuations to trilogies and series that i have been reading because my goal in 2020 is to finish at least a couple of the trilogies and series that i have ongoing or at least make a bit of progress the first one is liar of dreams by libra bray this is the second book on the diviners um, I read The Diviners last year and really loved it and I didn't get to read the second book, it's super chunky but it's kind of easy to read and addictive so I might be picking up this one as well. The next one is A Map of Days by Ramsam Riggs, this is the fourth book on the Miss Peregrine School for Procurial Children series and I've had this book now for, I don't know, two years, I don't know, since it came out basically 
the fifth book is already out so I feel really ashamed that I haven't read it yet so I need to get to this and the very last one is Immunity this is book two after Contagion which is a science fiction slash horror YA that I really really enjoyed um, so I got book two right away and I'm really excited to see how the story moves forward because the first book does end in a cliffhanger so I really want to continue with the series this year and there you have it my very very ambitious to be our pile for the month of April um, this is just because I think I'm gonna be mostly home in April I don't think we are going to get over this virus situation as fast as we think we are so I think we're gonna be home for longer than we expect um, and because I am kind of mood reading at the moment I just wanted to give myself some choices there is a couple of books that I really want to get to and the rest is just whatever I feel like reading so let me know down below um, if there are any of these books that you think I should get to first because maybe you read it and you really enjoyed it and also recommend me one of the best books that you have read in 2020 so far let's talk about it in the comments thanks so much for watching you guys please give the video a big thumbs up for support all my other social medias always can be found in the description box down below and I hope to see you all in the next coffee time bye